I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. In this video, we'll discuss an application of co-function identity. We have two related questions. Question three is solve for a, where sine square a plus sine square two a equals to one. And question number four is evaluate sine square one degree plus sine square five degrees plus sine square nine degrees and so on till sine square. 89 degrees. So let's answer question number three first. We are going to use that concept here. So when I say that sine square a plus sine square 2a is equal to 1, then we could relate it kind of like this. We know that let me write first cos square a plus sine square a is equal to 1. Right? So if you kind of think about this, then that gives you a concept and that tells you that in this particular situation, when we say sine square a plus sine square 2a equals to 1, that really implies that a plus 2a should be equal to 90 degrees. And that gives us 3a equals to 90 degrees or a equals to 90 divided by 3. And so we get a equals to 30 degrees. You get an idea, right? So, so that is how we could easily solve this particular question, right? Now, from where do we get this? We get this from co-function identity. And that is why I'm treating this as a application of co-function identity. Right? So let's get uh, in details. If I have a right triangle here, right, so let us say in this triangle, I have angle A here and B there. And that's a right angle triangle. So, so in this particular triangle, we could write uh, sine square A plus cos square A equals to 1. Now angle A can be written as 90 minus B, right? So we could write this as sine square A plus cos square 90 minus A, right? Should be equal to 1. Now cos 90 minus A is sine, right? So or you can think like this. Sine square A plus you can write like this. Cos of 90 minus a. Let me go one more step. Let me just square it like this just to make it absolutely clear. Right? Now, cos of 90 minus a is sine a, right? Sorry, 90 minus b. a will be 90 minus b. I'm so sorry. b, right? Okay. So, so as you can see here, a can be written as 90 minus b, right? So, a is 90 minus b. Remember, a is equal to 90 minus p, correct, in this right angle triangle. So replacing A with 90 minus p, we get cos square A equals to cos 90 minus b whole square, and that could be written as sine square A plus sine square b equals to 1. Does it make sense to you? So, so if you have sine square A plus sine square b equals to 1, it basically means that a plus B equals to 90 degrees. Only then it is possible. Is that clear to you? Right. So that is what I want to emphasize here. So whenever we have this situation, right, so, so let me rewrite here. If I have sine square A plus sine square B equals to 1, that implies that A plus B is 90 degrees. Is that clear to you? So that is what we want to summarize and emphasize here. Correct? So let's move forward and do question number four now. So now let us solve question number four. We have already learned that sine square A plus sine square B is equal to one. So from the first question we learned that sine square A plus sine square B equals to 1 means that a plus b equals to 90 degrees, correct? Now in 
Example 4 is kind of different but similar concept. Evaluate sine square 1 plus sine square 5 plus sine square 9 and so on till sine square 89. Perfect. So as you can see here, we can combine some terms. So, so we can write, let's solve this answer 4. We can rewrite this and we can write this as sine square 1 plus sine square 89, right? So we can club them. Plus we could do sine square 5 plus a term before this will be, since the series is going up by 4, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9. So taking away 4, we get 85 here. So we get sine square 85 plus so on. Do you, do you see that part? So we could actually combine the terms and we'll get something like this where 1 plus 89 is 90, 5 plus 85 is also 90. Do you see that? So in this series, you notice that each will result into 1. So this is 1, that is also plus 1 and, and so on. We could add 1. So we need to find how many terms are here, right? So at this stage, two things are important. One is we need to figure out how many ones, right? This is what we need to figure out. So let's find number of terms. Okay, so for that, let's look into our series once again. We have series which is 1, 5, 9 and so on till 89. Correct. So in this series, we are going up by common difference of 4, right? So we are adding 4 each time. To find the number of terms, number of terms will be equal to what? Will be maximum, right? Minus minimum over common difference plus 1 since we are including both of them right so in this particular case we get 89 minus 1 over difference is 4 plus 1 and that gives you 88 over 4 plus 1 and that is 22 plus 1 so that is what we get 22 plus 1 terms well 22 is an even number, but 1 is not an even number. So we have 23 terms, right? So basically, we have 23 terms. Now, 22 can be combined. Into 11 sums. Right? So basically, we have 11 of these, right? So let me let me just rewrite this. So we could rewrite this as sine square 1 plus sine square 89 plus sorry plus here plus sine square 5 plus sine square 85 plus so on. So we have these 11 terms, right? So we have uh, 11 of these right so we have 11 terms and after these 11 terms we are left with one so we are left with one and this one it will be the center term which is sine square 45 is that clear to you so we have 11 terms and their sum is one each is one right so 11 terms plus sine square 45 and so what we get here is 11 plus Sine square 45 is 1 over square root 2 whole square. square. Sine 45 is 1 over square root 2. So we get the whole sum as equal to 11 plus half, right, which is 11.5. Is it clear to you? So the answer for this is 11.5. Perfect. So let's go back to this. Basically, we made the combinations and we found 
that 22 terms can be combined like this. So we'll get 11 ones, right? Each sum results into one, number one. So we get 11 from these sums plus one term, the center term, which is sine square 45, results into half. So we get 11.5 as our answer. Is that clear to you, right? So that is how we'll answer this. Hope it is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.